Right, okay. so I'm going to make a little start. So um, what we're going to be talking about today is just about careers in music. Um, so I've spoken to somebody I went to university with um, called Louise Unsworth. She, well, she's going to tell you a little bit about what she does. Um, so maybe Louise, could you just yeah, start us off and tell me what your, uh, your job is that you're currently doing um, and just give, give a little bit of an explanation as to what a day to day life in uh, for you and your job might be. Sure. So um, I'm a senior publication editor at um, Hal Leonard Europe, which is part of Hal Leonard, which is the world's largest print publisher and distributor. Um, so the core of our business really is our um, exclusive deals with major publishers such as Universal Music or Sony Music Publishing, Disney. Um, so we effectively exploit those publishers' copyrights in printed music and then distribute it all globally. Um, so my role in particular is, is an editor, so um, really it's a project management role where I'm sort of seeing the production of a product through from initial conception all the way through to, to sale, really. Um, and that involves uh, liaising with internal departments, licensing, design, production, um, and also um, external freelancers as well. And of course, artists and publishers and, and management as well when we're working with um, artist-led songbooks. Um, so yeah, we create quite a large variety of products. I personally focus more on repertoire, um, uh, so a lot of rock and pop uh, publications and um, contemporary classical publications and that sort of thing. Um, but really, if, if a big show comes along or a big film, we're going to be creating that, um, we're exporting that copyright in a variety of different instrumentations and difficulty levels and, and everything like that. So we try and accommodate everything in the market. So am I right in saying that, you know, for, for our students, if they go and buy a book, they go to their music shop and they buy a piece of sheet music that's from a musical, say, that's just come on the West End, you would be involved in the creation of that? Exactly, yeah, that's effectively it. And um, Halland has a load of different copyrights. Um, so it, the likelihood is, is if you're going to go into a shop and get a, a modern um, show or a film, then it's going to be a Hal Leonard copyright. So, um, yeah, we effectively control the, the right to print um, that copyright in sheet music. Um, on behalf of the overall publisher um, and yeah the the editor really project manages it liaises with um, licensing to make sure the clearances are all in place actually gets into the notes as well and does the actual editing and proofing of course um, using freelancers to create those assets um, and then liaises with if it's a film for example potentially the production company um, to get you know various artworks or that sort of thing so it ties in with the branding of the show or the film um, so yeah, there's a lot of sort of balancing and just time management and pulling everything together. So we're we're hitting deadlines and getting products out there efficiently, really. So yeah. So it sounds like like the skills that you learned at university, things would be, uh, or tell me a little bit, would it be things like using Sibelius or similar software um, yeah. would be part of your role. Absolutely, yeah. Sibelius I use on a daily basis, really. Um, I mean, obviously there's the sort of transferable skills that you, you learn anywhere at university or on any degree really you know time management is very important and um, balancing projects um, at a time and on that sort of thing um, but yeah effectively you're going to need a grounding in musicianship really and um, especially if you're going into a music degree it'd be very beneficial to specialize in analysis or a theory kind of side because that's obviously really important when you're um, actually editing the notes and proofing um, that's sort of the root of it all um yeah and i'd say yeah getting involved in a lot of extracurricular activities has really helped me personally in my um sort of route into this career because you know that sort of thing gives you some practical um knowledge of, of how to use scores for example you know i'd recommend getting involved in bands and ensembles if you're doing a music degree or even not a music degree really anything at university um and you know putting your hand up and getting involved in creating scores or prepping parts or, and that sort of thing it, that's really um, beneficial to, to this part of the industry so yeah. I think it's great that you sort of recognise that there's it's not just about what happens in the classroom it's actually what happens outside as well it's like going to those extra rehearsals rocking up at orchestra rocking up at jazz band rocking up at band practice is all contributing to what you do now. Um, yeah. It sounds like as well and tell me if I'm wrong that you've learned lots of skills at university college school of course um, but it sounds like there's still skills that you continue to learn to get into your role. Could you tell me maybe just a couple of skills that you learn, you know, college, sixth form, perhaps, um, that you you now use? I know you mentioned Sibelius and editing and those kind of things, but also some of the skills that you had to learn on the job. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's a balance between the two. I mean, obviously, like you say, the, the sort of practical skills of using Sibelius and um, just 
being a musician as well, just from the end user's point of view. I mean, that's the whole, that is what makes a good editor is understanding um, the product um, so that we can edit it and present it in the best way for the end user and understanding how a customer is going to use a product, for example. So that's, that's really key. Um, and then, yeah, there's absolutely um, only so much you can learn about this particular, because it's quite a niche part of the industry, you know, printed music. So um, there's quite a lot that you learn on the job, as it were, as well. So, for example, um, an understanding of how licensing works is, like I said at the beginning, licensing and the, the deals we have is basically the core of our business. So that's um, really essential to know. Um, and it will change from publishing house to publishing house, you know, depending on the deals you've got. But um, having a grand, um, a solid grounded knowledge of, of licensing and how that works is essential. And um, then uh, skills in production um, as well, sort of dealing with different paper stocks and that sort of thing and how to actually build the book together is obviously something you would learn on the job kind of thing rather than, than before. I mean, there's, there's some courses as well that you can take prior to taking on a job like this. Uh, and sometimes that would be part of the sort of um, the process of getting the job would be to go on a training course for, for production and, and editing because it is such a niche um, industry um, and skill set. So, yeah, but I think as long as you've got the sort of the base skills of musicianship, um, a commercial knowledge. Um, I personally was in a in a retail position at university before I got this job. Um, and that's really helped me sort of had a grounding for where the product ends up eventually you know, on the shop floor. Um, so that's very helpful as well. And then, of course, you've got a music, music degree and lots of extracurricular um, activities as well. On top of all that, then obviously it's a bonus. So that'll put you in good stead. And then last question, um, with your degree, how do you feel that the degree itself prepared for you? I know we spoke about um, like some of that, that, say, like the modules that you might have taken, the, the explicit skills, but are there any perhaps softer skills that just going to university generally has helped you to get into the career that you're in now? Yeah, I think I think um, I mean with everything, good communication is really essential. You're especially as an editor, as a project management role, you're dealing with a lot of different people with different skill sets and to bring this project together um, as one. So communication and being able to model that communication on different people types, personality types is essential. Um, and then I'd say as well, the time management thing is a big thing. We're sort of juggling. I think I've got about 30 different books on at the moment that we're juggling at, at any one time. They're all at different stages. And uh, within each book as well, you've got um, various different departments and um, sort of statuses as well. So, um, yeah, being able to sort of look at the big picture while whilst focusing on the details, because it is a, a detail orientated job. Um, and then being able to pro uh, project manage that, juggle it with good time management is is key. Sometimes we'll have um, harsh deadlines for, for projects. Sometimes it won't be as harsh. You could be, have a bit of leeway with it, but it's good to stick to a, to a publication schedule. And, um, yeah, you can achieve that by having good time management, really. I guess that's why we that is why we set homework isn't it of course that's why I get it in on deadline <laughs> you need it when you leave um Louise thank you so 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 much I genuinely You're really welcome. really appreciate um your time it's lovely to see you um yeah. and I think you know from from my perspective I know that going to university studying music degree has just enabled me to to just see the world I'd say in kind of a slightly different way it's, it's enabled me to meet new people it's made enabled me to you know to just engage with my passion um and but also it does give you that skill set to go off whether you want to go in and do something like you're doing you know you're you're deeply into the music industry every time I go to a music shop you know I'm probably going to look out for your name now and probably see your name written <laughs> on it um but even if I wasn't going to go down that route I still feel like those skills we're learning um from going to university from going um and particularly studying music is is just great for no matter what you go into um Absolutely. so thank you and I will leave that there I'll stop recording